Thanks for signing up. Here's how you can get started building your first feed and working with some of Juicer's main features. If you want a more detailed demo, one is linked from our Frequently Asked Questions page. Just click the Help button in the upper right corner of your screen to get there. Your first step is to add a source to your Juicer feed. To add your first source, just click any of the social networks that Juicer has available. We'll start by adding a Twitter account as an example. You'll notice that Juicer will first ask you to connect a Twitter account on the back end. This account is separate from what will be displayed in your feed and helps us obtain posts on your behalf. Rest assured, we will not do anything to this account, like edit, add, or delete posts. We'll ask you to do this once for all of the major social networks. We'll go ahead and connect a Twitter account in this way now. Having done that, we can move forward with displaying a Twitter account in our Juicer feed. It's as easy as typing or pasting in the username of the account, although the process may differ slightly based on the social network. In this case, we can simply type in Juicer's own Twitter account as an example. Note that you can also add hashtags or Google Map ID locations as sources for your feed. We've now arrived at the main Juicer dashboard and we can see posts from our Twitter source that we just added. This panel on the right will show the Juicer feed as it will appear on your website. Any changes you make to the styling or content of your feed will be reflected here on the dashboard right away. And will also be reflected anywhere you have embedded the feed. Hovering over the posts will give you a few options, like sticking, editing, or deleting posts. Note that any changes you make to the posts here will not impact the posts back on the social network. On the left are the various tools and features that you can use. The Social Media Sources panel will show you the sources that you've added so far and allow you to add more. Based on your plan, you will have a certain max number of sources that you can add. If you have a plan that allows you to create additional juicer feeds, you can do so by clicking the Main Account menu button in the upper right corner of your screen then clicking the plus icon next to the Feeds header. The Feed Settings panel lets you change the style of your feed. Juicer has nine built-in feed styles to choose from. You can also adjust the number of columns, the overall size of your feed, and many other aspects of the feed. The Custom Design and Moderate and Filter panels are available for seven days on the free plan and available permanently on any paid plan. The Moderate and Filter panel gives you full control over the content that appears in your Juicer feed. You can manually review all posts before they appear in your feed by selecting Send All Posts to Moderation. Or you can automate the filtering using the tools below. When you're ready to insert the Juicer feed onto your website, you can get the embed code from the Embed in Your Site panel. It's as simple as copying and pasting this code where you want the feed to appear. There are different options from the drop-down menu for WordPress users and an iframe version as well. Your Juicer feed will pull in the latest posts from your sources at set time intervals. On the free plan, this is once every 24 hours. On paid plans, it's more frequent. You can see when your feed is set to resync next in the bottom panel here. There are plenty of other features to explore, so we'll let you get to it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at hello at juicer.io or via the contact form on our website.